Hi guys, in this video we're going to take a very quick look at this TV that I was given. Um, it's Technica brand, it's about 13 years old and uh, it was my stepdad's but he gave it to me because he's now got a replacement and this has got an issue with it anyway. He says it takes ages to actually get this to turn on. So, uh, let's hit the power button. Is it going to do anything? Yeah, that blue light's not supposed to do that, so... My PC seems to be doing something. Every time I press this remote. Yeah. It's sort of power cycling from the looks of it. I don't want to get into the actual repair. I just want to have a look. Really not sure what my PC is doing. It shouldn't be doing anything, but never mind. I can see what my stepdad means now. I have looked on the back of this and all the air vents are fully clogged. Well, I'm not going to stand here for 40 minutes uh, trying to get that to bloody turn on. Because he said that's how long he's um, tried at one point to get this to turn on. But like I said, he's got a replacement anyway, so... He gave me this, you know, he's just got to throw it out. So I thought I could make a video with it. So I've never ever ever opened up such a TV. I've only ever opened up CRTs. There we go. Alright. I'll jump cut because there's a lot of screws. Right, all the screws have been removed, all the screws I can see anyway. So, all I need to do really is try and lift this back cover off. Oh, excuse me. That was not intended. <laughs> but I do seem to be... Two more screws. There's arrows next to them as well. Oh, for God's sake. Wrong screwdriver. Smaller screwdriver. Can't see no more arrows. Aha, there we go. Right. Um, <laughs> I've already found a problem. Just like I thought. I can fix this a piece of cake. I'm going to give it a damn good clean as well. And, uh, I wasn't kidding when I said the vents were a little uh, caked in muck. Right, so that needs a clean. I'll bring you in, in uh, closer in just a moment. Because uh, what I was looking for, and what I was actually suspecting, we've got a kamikaze moth in here, <laughs> was some bloated capacitors, and I've actually found one! Which has also leaked a little bit as well. So with some cleaning and a new capacitor, I actually reckon I can get this working. So, I'm just gonna, um, I'm gonna have to take off the tripod, I think. Getting close enough and at the right angle. I'm not a bloody hawk moth, are you? I'm not big enough. There it is. That's actually a bit loose as well. <laughs> but yeah, I bet you that is the problem. There's actually cobwebs in here as well. <laughs> I'm just looking around. Just 
Shall I have a look at a few others to make sure the others... That one I'll probably replace as well because it doesn't look brilliant. It started to blow and to be honest if I'm going to replace this one which is clearly gone I might as well do the one that doesn't look too good either, as well. Yeah, they're all right. I'm not surprised that failed. I mean look at the crap on here. So my next job is to remove the power board. I don't think there's going to be anything on it. There's only two boards. Three boards if I count that which is probably the screen light driver, the backlight driver. That's all your inputs and outputs and whatnot puts. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty confident with the replacement capacitors I could get this working. Right, let's just bring you back. Right, so this is going to be a two-part video. The second part will be of me repairing this board, hopefully, and putting it back in. So the first thing I need to do is make sure all my screws are actually safe. I'm going to find something to put those in, I think. We're going to need to unplug everything. So we unplug the power. Doesn't what matter about that. It will only connect on the right way, so I'm not going to plug it on backwards when it comes to that. It's the same with these. There's actually only three cables on this. There's the mains coming in. There's this one, which is going to be the power distribution for this. This one, which I'm convinced is for this, which is for this, the uh, screen driver and whatnot. There's a bit of a cable clip there. Unplug that, and this should just unplug. Same with this one. So I've got all three cables unplugged. Like I said, they're not going to get mixed up because, well, that one's not going to reach all the way over here anyway. And that's a different sized plug to that one, so no chance of uh, mixing things up. Please tell me they're Phillips screws. They are, but this Phillips screwdriver will not grip them. So uh, I'm going to have to go find one. Ha, I've got my old faithful blue and yellow screwdriver here. Organised as ever, aren't I? So we can remove this, clean it up, and in part two I will be replacing the capacitors. I'm going to check my little stash just to see if I've got any by chance, you know, of the same rating. Um, if not, I'll have to have a look on eBay in a week or so and uh, see if I can order some replacements. So in theory this should... No, I've just found another screw. Screw number five right there. This is in need of a damn good clean. But for so oddly, this board over here is not very dirty, it's actually pretty good. It's this, it's the power supply that's caked in muck. Which wouldn't have done it any favours, to be honest. Right. Oh, hang on. Okay, so there's two here that I'll replace. They've started to blow. I thought there was one, but I'm going to replace both of these. And that one. And give this a good clean. There's no cooling fans in this, so I have no idea how this crap got in here. I mean, look, it's just all on this side as well. It's like, ugh. Yeah, those are the only three capacitors I can see that are definitely gone. And going by the symptoms, as you saw as well, the um, power cycling, I'm convinced that this is the issue, so... I need to clean those off. I'm not sure I'm going to... Yeah, I don't want to take them out if I can help it. 
just so I know, you know, where to put the replacements. Mind you, if these two are the same, then I'll know where to put the two. I think I am going to have to take them out because I can't read that. 105 degrees. Come on, it must have the rating on it somewhere. What about this thing down here? Has that got it? I don't think there are any known range. Actually, I think I'll just take the soldering arm to them and... Uh, Uxon? Luxon? It's a Luxon capacitor. Never heard of it. <laughs> well, on this t-shirt was white. Okay. So, part two, we fix this. Reinstall it and hope it works. If it works, Every time I shake it, look. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's coming up on the camera, but there is lots of muck just flying off this. Yeah, anyway, next video, repair that board, get it back in here, power it up, and hope it fixes it. I'm actually not sure what I'm going to do with this TV. Um, I'm thinking when I get my new PC built, I can actually use it as the mono. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot for watching guys. I'll see you in part two.